And grappling grip strength is important. Some people say all grappling is grip fighting. So here's some movements I use to strengthen my forearms and my wrists. So the first thing I do is I set up this barbell. I have a counterweight on the other side. I have a 44 pound kettlebell here and I thread my elastic through here, my band. I'm gonna bring it away from the edge a little bit so it stays on. I'm gonna loop it over again. And now I start going away from me first. And this is like holding a wrist, pretty big wrist. And I'm cranking it forward, one hand at a time. It gets a, feels a little bit heavier as the band doubles up on itself. Okay, and then I'll come down. And then I go the other way, and I start pulling it toward me. And I won't go crazy. In general, I'll do two sets of this each way, maybe three times a week. Feels pretty good. My forearms and wrists feel strong. That's all it is to it. And you can use whatever weight's appropriate for you. So this next movement is for your wrist strength. So I saw, I think, Islam Makachev on YouTube doing this, and I saw Spencer Lee, Olympic wrestler, national champion wrestler doing this. So you grab a kettlebell here, and you just crank it over. And you find a weight, this is a little bit light maybe, that, it's going to give you a workout. The only thing I don't like about this is that your fingers get kind of squashed. So even when I use a larger kettlebell, it doesn't feel like there's enough room for my hand in here. Yeah, but even with this, my fingers are kind of overlapping. And it's usually easier this way than coming back against your wrist. So maybe you use one weight going this way and a different poundage going the other way. But you see, my fingers have to kind of overlap. They get squished. So, not a huge fan of this. I found a different movement that hits my wrist as well. So check this out. So one of my students was kind enough to give me this as a gift. It's a 10 pound mace. So what I do is, I find, what I found is if I grab it at a certain point here, it's very well balanced. Then I, I hold it over this box, and then I get a little bit of workout turning it this way. And then for some reason, it's equally hard going back the other way. So I, don't, I can use this one grip and this one implement at this one space and get a pretty good workout. And this is a little bit thicker than a bar, so it's also similar to grabbing a wrist, I think. And I like this way better than those kettlebells. You can see my fingers are all in a good position. They're not getting smushed. And I can just switch hands here. The other thing I like about training my wrists and forearms is it doesn't wipe out my whole body. So it doesn't interrupt my grappling training that much. Now if you're training with the gi, here's a great movement for your fingers. Sometimes with the gi, your fingers and knuckles get banged up and you can get your fingers where they're kind of permanently curved. Like, and sometimes it can be hard to straighten one or a few of your fingers out. So here's what I found. So I take any plate, it could be 10 pounds, you can work up as heavy as you want. And I put my extended fingers on one side and my thumb on the other side. And I just do curls, so maybe set a 10 or 12 or, or whatever you want to do. And 
for some reason I find this really good for my fingers because you're you're stretching you're stressing your fingers when they're stretched out when they're completely extended and I feel like it makes them stronger and it helps straighten them if they're if they're a little bent sometimes your tendons can start to shorten if you injure your fingers and you and you keep your finger a little bit bent for too long so try this one this is an awesome movement So there's some simple movements. If you want to strengthen your grip, strengthen your wrists and your forearms and just have healthier fingers for grappling, check it out.